Hi, I'm Jason King for Australian Golf Digest TV, and here we are at the PGA Golf Show in Orlando for 2018. Tom, thanks for joining us on Australian Golf Digest TV. We've got the Cobra King F8 model, uh, more of the game improvement style club. Tell us a little bit about the design features. Well, the great thing about the King F8 is it's got some packed with technology. The key thing about the drivers is CNC milled face. Right. So that's something that the traditional process was take the nice face plate, put it in the head and weld it and then grind it off by hand. And that's a very inconsistent process. So we wanted to make that process more consistent because we have a speed rolling golf. We have, can only make it so fast. And we have to kind of fudge that and make them a little slower than we want because there's variation in making clubs. And it's usually a hand ground process. It's a little bit dirty, it's messy, uh, unpleasant. Right. Now you could be in a factory grinding golf clubs or you could be making a Puma shoe somewhere. And which one is gonna be more pleasant? So sure. we wanna help the workers a little bit and focus on what we can do to improve technology. So by CNC milling, we get the exact curvatures we want in the face, the exact loft, the exact roughness. Right. Those are all important for performance. What you can also do, because you're more precise, you can be thinner and not be illegal. Right. So that is a key, and thinner and not being illegal means more speed. Sure. Everybody wants more speed in the driver. So that's really the big story, and we believe this is how driver faces will be made from now on. Right. Because they haven't been made this way, and Cobra is an innovative family in golf. Sure. So uh, in the game improvement space, would you call this a high-launching, low-spinning driver, or is there different sort of features with more mid-launch, mid-spin type? Well, we actually do two versions. So right. this is the King F8. Yeah. We do a King F8 Plus. The F8 has weights in heel and back. Right. The plus, which is what Ricky uses, is front and back. Right. So those two different player styles still fit in the family of the King F8. Um, what we like to do as well is give faster speeds in terms of aerodynamics. So what you see on this driver is some aerodynamic trip steps on the top. Right. Now these are actually made of polymer, so they're not metal, so they don't raise the center of gravity. And they actually disturb the airflow so we get faster swinging speeds. Faster swing speed is more ball speed. Both of those are more distant, so better aero thinner face, better overall performance. Fantastic, and complemented nicely by this lovely set of irons. Do you want to take us through the design features of the F8 iron? The F8 iron actually comes in two flavors. It comes in variable length and one length. Wow, right. So those are something we launched this past year in one length with F7 it was great success for us. But the new updates are something called PowerShell. And PowerShell, you can see on the bottom here, is a structure that's sort of an L-shaped face that's a forged face put into a cast body. So that gives us the ability to make the face thinner and faster and lower the center of gravity. All good things in irons. So we also do that with the one link where they make the one link a little bit wider sole than the variable length. So the wider sole and the one link help gets the ball up the air a little bit more than last year and give us that best speed and performance for both types. The other cool thing is they have carbon fiber technology on the back. That helps sound and feel. Every time you make a thin face iron, they don't always sound and feel great. So with the carbon fiber technology, it's very light lowers the center of gravity and helps it feel better. Fantastic, and obviously players are looking at being fitted correctly for clubs. Is there a suitable shaft that you found that works well with the F8 iron? Well, a lot of shafts work great. The challenge to shaft fitting is you really need the golfer to be fit. Right. Um, our stock shafts are really good. We design them for that middle of the bell curve golfer, um, but we want everyone to get fit because stock shafts may work great, or you may want something different. Uh, I think the other thing that helps us is a new technology that we call Cobra Connect. We launched it last year in the drivers only. This year it comes in every club in the F8 line. This is an embedded sensor into the grip. And so what that does, it allows you shot tracking so every shot will be captured in your round. And what you do is you get the data that typically tour players get. When you see the data of where your shots go, where your misses are, how often you hit your clubs, where your gaps are, it really helps you to improve and it also helps you buy different type of shots. So you have a driving handicap, an approach handicap, chipping, sand, and putting. And the easiest way to improve is to know what to fix. Right. So the Cobra Connect system powered by Arco is gonna give you the ability to easily understand that, and be able to say, hey, I gotta fix this part of my game. We've seen with the Arco's 360 users from last year, a pickup of about three to five shots on their handicap index improvement, wow. just by knowing the data. Right. So it's a great new technology. We call it the first smart set. It's in all the new F8 products. Fantastic piece of technology. Obviously the golfers at home are starting to get uh, more education on what's exactly happening through the bag and with the ball, especially with launch monitor systems. So great offering there from Cobra. Thanks. Well, thank you, Jason. Thanks a lot.